Welcome to this tutorial brought to you by River City Graphics. Today I'll be showing you some of the new features of the shape tools in Photoshop CS6. So to get started we're going to open up Photoshop and the first thing we're going to do is just create a couple of shapes on our stage. So I'm going to go down and select the shape tool and the rectangle tool from those. Just going to hold shift and create a square. Change the fill of that to something a little bit brighter so you guys can see it. And then I'm just going to take and drag out an ellipse using the ellipse tool. All right, so let's give that a different color. How about like green? All right, so now that I have that, um, basically the way that shapes differ in Photoshop CS6 from CS5 is in the way that you can combine the layers together. Now, let's say that we wanted to have both of these shapes on its own layer. So we wanted to combine them on the same layer. In Photoshop CS5, what you do is basically take and select both of them and then right click and go to uh, merge layers. So that's basically how you would merge any kind of layers in Photoshop. Now the problem with this is that these shapes within Photoshop are vector based. So what that means is that if I were to scale this up and then zoom in, you can see that the edge remains um, very crisp and sharp and clean. Now that's because um, that's what vector shapes basically do. Um, so the problem is if you were to take and merge those together, um, it would basically rasterize them. So if I rasterize this layer, you can see what the difference is. Um, if I were to zoom into that, you can see that it starts to pixelate the edge there, um, which is no good. So that's how it would have uh, reacted within Photoshop CS5. Now with Photoshop CS6, you basically have a new option if you wanted to combine both of these together. You can hold shift and click them. Now if I right click on this, the option is in this menu. It's called Merge Shapes. Um, it's a little bit off screen, so I'll show you. You can also get to it by going to Layer and then Merge Shapes. So once you do that, it basically will change the color on one of them because it selects the more dominant shape, which is basically the one that's higher up in the layers. So in this case, um, it was the circle, which was green, so it also made the square green. Um, but what you have here is if I were to scale these up, you can see that it still retains its vector properties, where in CS5 it would not have done that. Um, so it definitely brings Photoshop a lot closer to other programs in dealing with vectors, um, such as Illustrator and programs like that. Um, so one more thing I wanted to show you guys, if you take and come down to your path selection tool, you can select these shapes separately and modify them um, as you might like. So, and you can take and move them around within the same layer. Um, if for some reason you wanted to say, take this circle out of the layer and make it its own layer again, what you would do is go up to layer and then new and then shape layer via cut. And it would basically take and separate that shape out from the, um, where it had both of them together. So I hope you guys learned something in this tutorial. It's definitely um, a new feature to CS6. It's not really one of the big features, um, but it is something that you should probably know about so that you um, can be a little bit more comfortable using vectors in Photoshop CS6. So hope you guys learned something. Don't forget to subscribe, rate, and comment, and check back next week for a new video tutorial. Thanks for watching.